Good morning everybody and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So, uh, nothing I can really say here, you know, three green days and then you end up with a gap up and a red day. So, bottom line is, at the moment we have extended the top of this range. I think that's uh, what you need to book, sort of look at, uh, 14174 is the top of the range. We did close above 1400. Uh, so I don't know if that's got any impact at the moment because remember 1400 is the area we need to worry about and the problem is that the DAX futures right now is down 0.7% and that is at 13.908. So where's 13.908? 13.908 that's pretty much somewhere down by this level here. So we have a massive red bar at the moment on the futures market. But, We'll wait for the open to see what transpires there. But I think ultimately we are sideways. We're in this range. There's no reason for me to be short or long at the moment. Uh, doesn't matter which time frame I look at right now. So uh, yesterday, nice big gap up. Rejection off the top. But if you wanted to take a scalp, that was probably a good area to be short. And it would have been a fairly decent scalp. But... Uh, Moving averages across over, I was looking for opportunities to buy it. There wasn't really an opportunity to buy, and this move here was so quick and so sudden that uh, it didn't leave anything for you to chase. So at the moment, I suspect well, we are going to gap down by the looks of things, and we've got a big gap to the downside, so that's probably where your targets are. I'm not really interested in this. So to short this, I'd want to be a retest of one of 1400. So break below, come back, retest 1400, start bouncing to learn. I'd want to short off there. Problem with that and what's been happening is because we're all sideways, it's uh, not always playing out. And you can see it didn't play out on Thursday. Okay, that would have been an opportunity right here. Okay, we need to short, got above there, and now price is below that area again. So it, this confusion is going to continue. It's, um, we need some, <clears throat> sorry, we need some good news in the market at the moment, and we're not getting it. So uh, that's just going to drive confusion. So, you know, yesterday I said to you, more than likely 15 minutes, but look at the structure here. You know, broke up, a uh, bit of chaos here, triangle breaks, and I uh, think maybe, you know, break below this would have been an entry point or the stop up there. It could have been. Problem is, all the high time frames, trend is up, so the rules are saying trade with a trend. That would have been the wrong trade to take. So, we got to wait for the pullback to buy into, and you see the pullbacks happen, but look at all the structure breaks. All the structure breaks were pretty much to the downside. Was a little bit of an opportunity here, but that would have got you stopped out anyway. Uh, but too, but too aggressive for me. So yeah, it's the only thing I can say to this. Um, you're probably finding move to the downside. This gap down here is more than likely going to close today. Uh, probably gap into it by the looks of things. Uh, so that's down at 13.790. So 13.900. So there's still a little, little bit of way to go, but that's kind of my view at the moment. Completely confused, uh, and I think I'm going to focus on some forex pairs this week. Uh, well, today and tomorrow. Uh, what I'm seeing on the index is just uh, it's very difficult to trade. So um, yeah, we'll keep our money in the pocket on this one, I think. Not going to try and scalp anything on here, uh, unless I, unless I do see something. If I see something genuine, I'll go for it. But otherwise, I'll just wait for it. Uh, it should it should sort of uh, sort itself out soon, and then we'll be able to to sort of make some uh, some intelligent investments or intelligent buys or sells. Okay, um, that's it for me, guys. I uh, know it doesn't help you that much, but uh, what can we say? Uh, the DAX is in a a really strange place at the moment and as the longer it stays here the worse it's going to get and if you look at the weekly you can see what i'm talking about that is weekly consolidation in an uptrend oh there's no real indication here that we're going to have a big major sell-off and there's no indication that we're going to continue this is just chaos consolidation um, sideways anyway that's it i hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later cheers for now